News 13 is proud to debut a news gathering tool, one that will take you closer to the biggest stories in the mountains. Skyview 13 is a drone and starting today, you may see our pilots flying it throughout the area. News 13's Jennifer Emmert has a behind the scenes look at Skyview 13. Jennifer. Our pilots have gone through extensive training to operate Skyview 13. They are FAA licensed and will be taking you closer to the action while making sure to observe the highest safety precautions. Skyview 13 is taking news to new heights, from the French Broad River to the mountains. It's a new way of storytelling from the sky. Everything is in designed around safety to uh, protect the public as well as our employees. The Federal Aviation Administration changed its rules last year, allowing news stations to start using drones. WLOS parent company Sinclair Broadcast Group's UAS Chief Pilot Jeff Rose has helped launch our drone program nationwide. Sinclair is going above and beyond FAA regulations in two significant ways. We only fly with two operators at a time, and we only fly with pilots who are fully trained at a FAA-designated test site. Skyview 13 is about six pounds. Our operators, Matthew Yates and Steve Wilder, can fly up to 400 feet in the air, zooming in on the action to give you a one-of-a-kind look at the news. We make sure that what is in our control is in proper working order before we ever go up in the air. Last week, our pilots met and briefed area first responders on the rules we will follow, including no flying at night or over crowds. News 13 will also observe the same privacy ethics we use for ground-based news gathering. Our pilots are also certified with the FAA. They've gone through an extensive aeronautical test and they have passed flying colors. News 13's pilots attended three days of training through Virginia Tech in addition to months of studying. We require two people for safety. That means that one person will be having their eyes on the aircraft at all times, you know, making sure nothing's going wrong while we have another person operating a camera. Skyview 13 will allow News 13 to give viewers greater perspective and take them places we couldn't previously go. If we could put a drone back on the other side of that barricade and put it up and show everybody how bad that picture is of that road washed out and maybe they don't get it in the car, then we've done the viewers a service. And this is it. You can see Skyview 13 right here. It's run with these controllers. It can only stay in the air about 20 minutes before the batteries wear out. By the end of 2017, 40 Sinclair stations will be flying drones. A full list and regulations and rules are available on our website at WLOS.com. Frank and Darcel.